What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how to set up the OpenEdX platform. If you haven't heard about OpenEdX before, it is a learning management system open source that is built by edX, the biggest learning management system at the moment worldwide. So today I will show you how to set up in your own server because previously I have uploaded another video, I was doing the similar thing but today I will show you to set up in your own server without using any third party service or anything like that. So before starting in this video I want to talk about the smart proxy that today's video sponsor smart proxy is a public data access platform currently focused on providing a proxy server rental service for highest quality IP addresses smart proxy offers a suite of free tools that help clients access data in any location around the world smart proxy gives users access to an IP pool of over 40 million IP addresses every month in over 195 countries locations and cities worldwide Smart Proxy offers a suite of free tools that help clients access data in any location around the world. The backbone of this platform are Smart Proxy's free proxy management solution, an on-site dashboard, a public API, browser extensions and proxy addresses generators. Their products are easy to use with any software, automation script or web scraper. So this is why I really recommend you to join and purchase their products and if you want to just go and click on the top link in the description on this video and purchase one of their plans. And with all that said, let's jump right into this video. Okay, so without losing time, let's start with it. So as I said before, the OpenEdX is built by edX platform and is, it is one of the biggest American massive uh, online courses provider and learning management system. So if you click on this link, you can uh, see and probably you have purchased one of their courses or anything in here. It has a lot of free courses and a lot of, of uh, services. So today I'll show you how to set up the OpenEdX, their uh, open source code that provides almost the same platform as uh, edX platform. So today I will show you how to set it up in Azure platform and previously I've uploaded another video on Azure so how to get free $200 credit and if you want to watch it it will pop up in the top right on this video. So let's go to Azure. I am already registered and if I go to Azure and go to the portal I have already an account and here I will show you how to set up the OpenEdX. So uh, if I go to uh, virtual machines, I, have n I don't have any machines right now, so I will create a new one. And to create the OpenEdX uh, platform, you have to go to search resources, service and docs and just search for OpenEdX. In the right you can find OpenEdX certified by Bitnami so I really recommend you this one because Bitnami it's a very good platform that makes your websites and uh, services very very minimalist and fast and uh, a lot of people use them so click on this one uh, here is the OpenEdX certified by Bitnami uh, all you have to do now is just to click on create now we have to set up the settings here. Uh, we can leave the subscription to this one and resource group to the new. And now we have to put a name. Just uh, I'm typing a name, open uh, edX. You can choose one, uh, whatever you want. And below uh, we can choose the region. If you are from, uh, from Europe, you can choose uh, any server in the Europe. May, it might be faster but uh, right now I'm leaving it uh, as default that is US and the image is this one uh, open edX and the size so here is the size I recommend you the, the highest uh, memory uh, you can choose the two gigabytes also but it might be a bit slower if you have a lot of users on your platform so uh, currently I recommend you to choose Four virtual CPUs and eight gigabyte of RAMs. It is one hundred twenty-three dollars a month. But if you if you just want to test it, as I said before, you can watch my video that I'm explaining you how to get a free two hundred dollar credit Azure, and you can use it for creating any platform you want. So uh, below 
we have to choose authentication type so is SSH public key and uh, for now I'm going to choose a password because I want it to be my own password and uh, we have to type a username so I'm just typing my name as the username and let's choose a password so put any password you want okay so with all these things we put here now we have to click review plus create now it is going to review our settings okay so the validation is passed and now we can create it so just click on the create button and this will take uh, some times and I will pause the video and I will be back soon okay so now everything seems to be set it up and uh, all we have to do is just to click go to resources and here are all the information of our server and the open edX platform so here we have uh, the network connect disk size we can edit the disk and do anything we want we can also back up and save uh, our platform and users and everything else also we can see the diagnostics of boot and a lot more things so but uh, all we have to do is just to get this public IP address so here is the uh, our platform hosted so this is the uh, IP address right now the platform is still setting up and it is running but it still isn't uh, uh, completely is set it up and we can see it in the in the boot diagnostics and if you click the serial log we can see the logs of the terminal that is running on the server and if we scroll down until the end we see that it is still setting up and is regenerating keys and doing their things so uh, we have to wait some time to be all set it up but during this wait I'm going to show you how to connect your platform with SSH so SSH can control all your server using terminal and uh, all the files and things from the server using your terminal so to connect with SSH first you have to copy this public IP address just copy it and open a command line or CMD just type CMD and open it and here we can use SSH to connect to our uh, username so type SSH and type your username that you put in the Azure platform uh, that is my mine was uh, Redian my name now we have to type at and uh, now you have you have to paste the IP so after pasting the IP press enter and it will ask if you are sure if you want to continue to connect to the server and write type yes and enter and now it is asking for the password here you have to put the password that you choose in the while we was uh, setting up the open edX in Azure and my password was uh, this one and if you see this logo here this uh, this uh, text here bitnami you are uh, good and you are all set it up so here we can control all the server and we can delete files we can see all the directories and do a lot more things using this terminal as you can see we have a lot of things and uh, but for now I'm not going to show you what you can do maybe uh, in another video I will show you how to change themes and how to do a lot more things using the uh, terminal here on using SSH but for today I'm just going to show you how to set it set it up in your server so if you go back to the uh, open decks and I'm going to copy this IP again and if I open a new tab in the Google Chrome and paste the IP press enter and it will try to connect to our website but if you don't see your the, your website yet it means that it's still setting up so here we can see our a uh, platform and uh, it says welcome to the, your platform name so we have to edit the name here and 
set up all the other things that I'm going to show you in another video but today as you can see we have the platform and it, it has courses you can click on the courses you can enroll you can put your courses with uh, with payment you can uh, register uh, students here and do a lot more things just like a normal learning management system so if you click enroll it is still setting up and as you can see it shows errors and you we have to log in or also so here on the platform you can register you can uh, log in and do a lot more things this is a default theme for the open edX but in another video I will show you how to set up the theme and do a lot more things how to customize it in yourself and a lot a lot more things uh, so here in the Azure we can uh, look at the monitoring we can see insights and what's happening with other with our uh, platform and also you can back up your platform if you want to save the users and other things so this was my video for today i hope you like it and please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and a lot more things about programming technology uh, automation web scraping and a lot a lot more things so i hope you have a good day and see you in the next videos peace